Knucklehead Sports. It's in the game. more question you have to ask me um, in order for me to tell you about myself I just can't give you a whole spiel I don't even know where you're sitting at <laughs> this ain't what you want bitch I'm a fucking phenomenon Yo, 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 it's fucking Wednesday night, and you know what that means, it's fucking Knucklehead Sports, we in the building, it's your boy Toe Tags, Hoach is on his way, pretty sure Krills is on his way, show is nowhere to be seen, what's going on Hoach? Yo, what up player? Feeling like a villain on penicillin, what up player? Nothing much here, trying to use my laptop. But fucking have been using it so long that it, my Chrome logged me out, so I don't remember my fucking password. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's usually how it goes. That's usually how it goes, man. So I'm here trying to all the uh, all the passwords I've tried, I've done in the past. I'm like, hey, motherfucker. It is what they, it is. They fuck you with the cell phones and they fuck you with the passwords. But I had ju I just changed my pad my uh, my cell phone because I cracked my screen on my older one on my other phone. Yeah. Which which usually never happens because I really don't drop phones. But I was walking up the steps in my job and I literally it hit my thigh and it fell out my hand. So I mean it does it automatically. So I go into Google on my phone to share like uh, where it says my password. Yeah. And I click on it, and it brings me to the same screen I am now. Like, do you want to put in your password? Like, no. Can you just show me my fucking password? Word. I'm like, why you got to make this shit so fucking difficult, asshole? For real? Shit. But enough about that. Shit. They, they, they do enough so to keep you out, but not keep uh, fucking hackers out. Yeah, no, that is true. I like, I mean, I'm talking right now, but I'm still trying to, to log in to see if I can just do it on my laptop. It's just frustrating right now because I'm like, you know what? I got home late from work, so I literally had enough time just to you know set up everything, hop in the shower, 
and then start the 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 podcast and i'm like damn i don't remember my password <laughs> <laughs> shit man i you know th- dude there's so much shit that i try to fucking there's so much shit that i fucking try to to fucking uh o- open and it's like what's your password i, was like, I don't fucking know i didn't the know fuck? i had a password on one of my backups for my phone and for I'm not even gonna lie. For about seven years, I've been trying different passwords, and I finally found it. The fucked up thing is that my laptop is only a year old, so I set up everything. You know what I'm saying? So today I go in and I, and I, I click on Gmail, and it's asking me all this shit. Like my man, why are you asking me all this shit? It's my fucking computer. Word. It's fucking. It's racist, bro. That's what it is. It's, it's fucking racism at its best. This is, this is why you need to switch to Apple. Oh, hell no. Never. Never going to happen. <laughs> don't, don't, don't even play yourself, love. Don't, don't even play yourself. <laughs> now, now it's telling my Chrome. Uh, is, what is it? I has to update my Chrome. Like, shouldn't, shouldn't it be done automatically? You piece of shit, you. You know, it should be. But speaking of pieces of shit, Daniel Jones, yeah, what's up? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going at. That's what I was getting at. <laughs> My brother's already, he's on the bandwagon. He's already on some, you know, let's get this motherfucker the fuck out of here. All right. Not for nothing. We've been doing this podcast since what? Since last in the full season. Yeah. Have I been right so far? It, I mean, yeah, yeah, and this is this is the best he's looked this season. The fuck, the fucked up thing is, you know, I follow a lot of you Giants YouTube channels. Yeah, and, and I've always said, I'm like, yo, man, he is not a good quarterback. And to have fellow Giants fans tell me, oh, you don't know what you're talking about, you don't know this, you don't know that. Like, how many excuses are you gonna make for this dude? Oh, we don't have receivers. Oh, we don't have an offensive line. Oh, we don't have this. Oh, we don't have that. The reason you don't have a lot of that stuff is because the man is very flawed as a quarterback. Yeah. And I keep telling people, ever his his lack of pocket awareness goes back to his college days. Now, I am no expert, even though I like to think I am. <laughs> but you know, seeing that I know, even playing street football, you know, and, and I play a little organized football. You know, I play. I used to play quarterback. And the one thing I've always heard everybody say is, if you have no pocket awareness, you cannot be an effective quarterback. It's true. All right, and I've said this many a time. Tom Brady is the most unathletic athlete I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> don't take it per- don't take it personal time. You know you know you're not athletic. Word. I go, but Tom knew how to maneuver the pocket. And it's not like you have to start running or whatever, but you know you slide left, you slide right. That's one. Two. Yeah. Since jump, I said it this kid does not know how to read a defense. He doesn't know how to make line adjustments. He doesn't know how to uh, recognize the blitzing linebacker. So he can't tell his offensive line which way to slide the protection. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, I'm sorry. Like, Eli's Manley, Eli Manning's last two years or whatever with the O-line sucked. Yeah, Eli was getting hit, but Eli was still getting rid of the ball. This yeah. guy holds this guy holds the ball waiting for a wide receiver to be open. In the NFL, unless there's a blown coverage, the wide receiver is never wide open. You have to throw him open. Yeah. It is not that hard. You stupid son of a bitch. <laughs> and he was getting sacked left and right too. Look, I, 
Look, my offensive line is not playing good. I'll give them that. But you know your offensive line is not playing good. Why are you holding on to the ball? That is true. That is true. You know, like, wouldn't you realize, hey, my offensive line can't hold a block, so I got to get this ball out quick. But what it's ha you know what happens when you're a flawed quarterback that doesn't know how to read a defense? And you lock onto a wide receiver and don't know how to go through your progressions, your progressions quick, you're gonna get sacked a lot. And that's exactly what's happened. He's getting exposed. And my man Tyson, all I gotta say is, hey yo. Hey yo. That's right. <laughs> all right. Mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I I was looking at the highlights because you know, I was you know, I I, I mean I can't watch the games. Cause uh, you know I'm I'm in the the podcast doing the raw shit, so I was watching the highlights, and it kind of looked like at one point the offensive line gave up on this nigga. Like after the the the, the interception he threw, it was like you know what, man, we're tired of this shit. Bro, look, here's here's what I'm gonna say, and you know, like Eli Manny wasn't a rah rah guy kind of guy. You never saw that in Eli. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But Eli knew that you know he had that leadership kind of quality. You don't this this motherfucker don't have no leadership kind of quality. I keep hearing people motherfuckers say, Oh, well, he's smart. Yeah, he's smart. He went to Duke. That don't mean you being book smart does not mean you are fucking have common sense or have any other kind of smarts. I've known some very smart, uh, you no know, street people who are smarter than motherfuckers who are just book smart. Yeah, yeah, book smart. I'm, really pretty, I'm, pretty, I'm, I'm pretty sure if I put a calculus problem in front of in front of him, he'll fucking he'll be able to fucking figure it out. But I'm not putting calculus in front of you. I'm putting fucking X's and oh, I'm putting football. Uh, it, it's real simple. Okay, my offensive line has not had enough time to gel. I know I'm not going to get three seconds, so I can't stick on looking at one receiver. That pick six he threw, yeah, he threw it because he held on to the ball, and he waited until the receiver uh, he when he thought the receiver was open to throw it. Had he thrown it off the receiver coming off the break, it probably does not get intercepted. But he doesn't. Yeah. And, and, again. All you Giants fans who actually who who look at game film, just look at his just look at the way he throws the ball. He literally waits until a right receiver is open. Yeah, I mean that that interception was hit. He took too long to throw that fucking ball. He should have just tucked that shit in and ran with, and fucking ran with it. So. When I'm telling you that I can tell, like I remember last year against the Patriots, right? They they threw it, they threw an out route. They catch it in front of the cornerback. But that thing's like 15 yards. I literally say, yo, don't go to that play again because it's gonna turn into a pick six. I see the same formation. I literally said, Don't throw it to the out. Don't throw it to the out. He threw it to the out. What happened? Pick six. And mind you, I'm not, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm not an NFL defensive analyst or coordinator or whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't get paid, I don't get paid millions of dollars to, 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 this, to, you know, to break down quarterback or, or game film or none of that shit. But if I'm looking at that play and I can tell you, yo, don't throw it there because it's about to get picked. He should have saw that. You you telling me you're you're getting paid to play this game and you can't see that? I, may, I think maybe he does see it. He just thinks that his arm is, is strong enough to get it through there. No, I, I'm sorry if I offend anybody. No, nigga, no. <laughs> no. You don't, you don't think he got the gas to throw that No. <laughs> None in the slightest. You don't got a rifle. Yo, 
Josh Allen got a rifle. Compared to got Josh, a rifle. Right. Compared to, to, to fucking Josh Allen, Daniel Jones, we have a fucking water pistol. Damn. Damn, son. <laughs> Man got a water pistol. Shit. You know, my, my my man Josh Allen is throwing gas 100 miles per hour. You know, my man, my man Randy Johnson out there. Daniel Jones is throwing like 85 miles per hour. He had, I mean, he has some good moments, but but again, like, like you said, that's but again, there, those... there's too too many few good moments. Yeah, like when the play breaks down, he don't know what to do with it afterwards. But I mean, so who? So what? What? What happens now, Coach? I'm asking you, what's what happened now? Well, they the stupidly Giants? they stupidly paid him. Yeah, but didn't you say we get that shit back? Or after two years, he has the oh was, no, was See, they, they, they they did something stupid. And they restructured his contract to free up more cap space. So now the out that they gave themselves is no longer an out because if they cut him after year two, he carries an eighteen million dollar debt cap hit. So now, not only did they fuck themselves the first go around by giving him a contract and not giving it to Barkley, they come now they've compounded the issue. By the only escape that they had, they they fucking they put sheep rock. They didn't even put sheep rock. They put brick up. Cause eighteen million dollar kept that cap hit is a fucking it's a big amount of money. Now remember in the in the off season, I said yo, they have to play the offensive line. They have to gel. They have to gel. They didn't play the offensive line together. Yeah. So. All the communication problems that the offensive line is having right now is because of that. Damn. Like, I remember in the preseason, the, the starting offensive line, which only has started one game because of injuries, right? Yeah. They played one series against the Carolina Panthers second stringers. Daniel Jones went eight for nine, and everybody's like, yo, we look good. And I say, y'all is stupid. What up, Joseph? What up, I, go, Joseph? Look, I go, yo, y'all is stupid. You have one series against the second string defense. And, and now look how bad they're being exposed. But again, to a lot of other Giants you know, uh, fans who comment on other YouTubes, I don't know what I'm talking about. I right. guess it's looking stupid now. Hey. You know you know what it is, man? People act like they don't fucking they don't see shit. Yo, my man, my man Dan Dennis Green said it one, best one time. You know when he said they all who did we who they all who we thought they were. Yeah. Well, Daniel Jones is who we thought he is a fucking burger. <laughs> My man he say he's a fucking burger. <laughs> and, and, yeah, he, he, I'm a, I'm gonna even compound this. He a burnt burger. Damn. You know that he's shit, that. They don't have he, no he, juice left. Nah, you know, you know how you know how sometimes when you're on the grill and one of those patties falls in between, you know, yeah, the grill and, yeah. Yeah, and it comes out burnt to a crisp. Yep. That's Daniel Jones. Yeah. My man said the fucking charcoal can't even save you now. Damn, bro. A burnt burger. Bro, uh, how like how many excuses are you going to make for this guy? 
The only game that they won was Ari was in Arizona, and in that game they were down twenty one to seven. Now, granted, the defense has not been playing good. Yeah, but you know, it's not like Arizona has who do they have on defense. Buddha Baker. And that's about it. They don't have JJ Watt no more. He retired. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. You know, and then in the second half, you see the Giants coming back, and everybody's like, "Oh, you know, the Giants had that comeback win against Arizona." If you look at the game in the second half, anytime the Giants ran a play with Barkley, the entire Arizona defense went wherever Barkley was going. So if if Daniel Jones fake a handoff to Barkley and he was going left, that whole defense went left. Bro, the, the, nobody is scared of Daniel Jones in the NFL. Nobody. I can't even argue with that because it, it looks like they, they, they salivated the mouth to get to him. Because they know he's limited. Can't read a defense. Has bad pocket awareness. Locks onto our receiver. He has slow uh, progressions going through his reads. Bro, I, I took... Your brother is a Giants fan, right? Yes. Ask him if he can see, if he can remember ever seeing Daniel Jones out of out of a play. Shit. I don't think I. This is no. this is year this is year five. I have not seen him out of a, out of out of a play. If he walks up to the line of scrimmage and there's nine men in the box and it's a run play, he goes, "Well, look, I guess we're going to run a run play." Yeah. The best he does is running the ball himself. But like, yeah. uh, why, why aren't you, dead ass? why aren't you coming to the line of scrimmage and saying, yo, there's nine men in the box. It's a, we're having a run play. They know it's going to run play. Maybe I should switch it to a pass play. But again, this, go back, this goes back to my theory that the Giants uh, GM and the head coach Really didn't don't want Daniel Jones as their quarterback because that contract that they gave him, right? Yeah. Gave him out originally. All right. Now think about it. Nobody signs a franchise quarterback to that kind of contract. That's one. Two, he didn't they didn't draft him. All GMs and all head coaches want to draft their quarterback. Yeah. What happened was last year. The Giants had an anomaly. They had an easy schedule. They went six and one the first seven games, and nobody saw that coming. But they had an easy schedule. Now, what happened in the second half of the season? They had a losing schedule, a losing record, because they had a tougher schedule. They beat Minnesota because Minnesota couldn't stop fucking the Little Giants from the movie Little Giants. <laughs> All right. They couldn't stop Icebox. Right. They couldn't, like, their defense was that bad. And I kept hearing everybody, oh, but you know, he looked great in that game against Minnesota. Now, explain to me what happened when they actually, when he went up against a team, a real team with a defense against the Eagle? Oh, yeah. He got bitch slapped. All right. What's happened this year when he's gone against a good team? Now, mind you, out of the first four weeks, the Giants have played the Hawks that were in the playoffs last year, the 49ers, and the Cowboys. All playoff teams. The only team that was not in the playoffs that last year was the Cardinals. And they had to come back to beat them. Okay, so the Giants have the now Eagles have the hardest schedule in the league. The Giants are like top three in, in the hardest schedule in the league. The difference is the Eagles actually have a roster full of stars, you know, and again, I keep telling Giants fans, the Giants don't have a roster full of stars, people. Yeah, the, Gi the Giants are still trying to build a team. What happened last year was a fluke. And Why? Be because we had an easy schedule. And Shaquan really surprised a lot of people with how good he was coming out for the coming off of the injury. But see, here's the thing that pisses me off about people. Who talk shit about Saquon? Because I had to put a, a fellow. He claims he was a Giant fan. I had to put him in his place because he swore 
that Barkley was a bump. And I'm like, over 2,000 yards his rookie season, he wins, he wins rookie of the year. Year two. That sounds like a bum to me. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> you, 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 year two combined, he has 1,700 yards. But he missed like three or four games because of a sprained ankle. Year three, in week two, he tears his ACL. How? Trying to make a positive game out of another running play where the Bears knew exactly what was happening. Last year, he played all 16 games and had a combined, I think it was like another 16 to 1,700 yards. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you and you saw the respect he commanded when the defense, like if you look, if you go back and look at the Giants season last year, anytime the Giants played a team with a good defense, what were they doing? Shutting down Barkley. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Once you shut him down, the, the offense couldn't move anyway. Bro. Hey, you, you're 100% right. And then the bad teams who try who 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 sell out to, to stop Barkley, you know, and then let Daniel Jones and not put a, a, a spy on Daniel Jones and let Daniel Jones run, what happened? They ended up losing. Like I keep telling people this. Last year against the Bears, Justin Field had more passing yards than Daniel Jones. In that game last year, yeah, it was raining in Soldier Field. Justin Fields had like about 170 yards passing. Daniel Jones had less than 100 yards. The Giants won that game simply because the Bears offense is that much worse than the Giants. And the, the Bears didn't know how to stop Daniel Jones from running. Now, when the Giants played a good team like the Eagles, who can shut down Barkley and then put a linebacker spy on Daniel Jones, what happens? Daniel Jones don't do shit either because he can't run. Bro, again. Yeah, he's just a big dude. Like He was, again, a couple of years ago, what happened? He was by himself, and he looked like a cartoon. And everybody goes, oh, you're joking on him. I'm like, the dude tripped by himself. There was nobody near him for like 20 yards. He could have start, he could have start slowing down and still scored a touchdown. But he looked like that cartoon when their feet starts moving faster than their body, and they start to lean forward and they fall and they trip. That's exactly what happened to him. You know, cause he didn't he, the yeah, dude could have the, 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 <laughs> Exactly. The dude could have simply said, yo, let me slow down because there's nobody near me for 20, 20 yards. Let me get my feet and then book it again. Yeah. Bro, I, 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 tried, to, I tried to explain this to Giants fans. Daniel Jones in the NFL is a fucking laughing stock. Motherfuckers laugh at him. And people still don't get it. We're in an era where excuses are are acceptable. Oh, you no know? accountability. None whatsoever. Yeah, it's yeah, everybody's yeah. fault but mine. Yeah. How about you how about you grow a fucking pair of balls and say, you know what? I might be the problem. Yeah. Cause yo, cause like I, I like I said, I was watching some of the highlights, and it kind of looked like the offense was ready. They were there. They were ready to play. The defense was trying to do their thing too. And the minute he threw that interception, it, it was like, "Yo, fuck this nigga." It was literally here we go again. Yeah. Like, bro, we're we're gonna go into week five. The Giants have held a lead for nineteen seconds. Yo, I've heard the Giants have not scored a point. In the first half of any other game, no, they scored. They haven't scored a touchdown. They've scored a total of six points. Okay, they haven't scored a touchdown. Shit, that's crazy. Even even the New York led Jets by Zach Wilson has scored a touchdown. Yeah. Again, I would take Zach Wilson over Daniel Jones. Yo, listen, 
Zach Wilson, when he starts playing the way that you said he should start playing, because I saw that he was throwing those short passes. He was getting the first downs. He was releasing the ball fast. He was he was he was making those decisions like all right this this guy's open I'm just gonna give it to him. He looked good. If if he learns to take what the defense gives him, and then like basically put the defense to sleep, then you can go and throw that bomb. You know, like I, I fight yeah. with a I, I fight with a lot of Giants fans who always want to defend Jones, and I'm like, dude. I said, you want to know how much of a screw up he is? Mm -hmm. You're what up, Crows? What up, Crows? In that game against Arizona, uh, Jalen Hyatt was open. And if he throws it in front of him, for Jalen can go and, and, and basically run him down and catch it, it's a touchdown. He threw it behind him, so Hyatt has to slow down to catch the ball and gets tackled. Let me guess you're talking about Daniel Jones. Yeah, that fucking burger. Is he the burger though? I mean, look, I, yes, yes, uh, yes. Since last Joe, stop Joe, Chris, stop trying to defend him. I'm not stop trying to defend I'm him. Not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I from the, la from the last podcast, I'm actually gonna I'm bigging you up right now. Okay, so let me get my let me get this out the way. <laughs> Please, if this is hard enough already to do. <laughs> Let me get this out the way. What's up, Joseph? Take a deep breath. From last podcast, all the flaws that you brought to our attention about Danny Dimes, he can't lead receivers open, he's off here. I, I, I seen that this game, right? I've seen it. There were some chances where he had he could have led a receiver to the open spot, but him and the receiver did not on the same page. Like the whole team, the whole team is in trouble. But I saw what you were talking about against uh, uh, Daniel Jones. You guys don't have a line. We have to give him that leeway. Not much. Okay. When he did have time to throw, it was just bad. So that kind of cancels shit out. You know what I mean? When he has the time to throw, he didn't make the throws. And uh, I'm happy that you guys tried the tush push. AKA the brotherly shove. We're changing it. There's no look, that shit sounds too gay for me. Tush push. <laughs> Not in the game of football. We're gonna go with the brotherly shove, right? I'm gonna trademark it before uh they do see if I get some money. So you guys got injured during that play. Two of your players got injured. <laughs> two of your players got injured, yeah, and, you guys got, and you guys and you guys got denied. So that was I just wanted to get that out the way as well. Leave it to the professionals. Uh, that's all I'm saying. But you're in for a long season, Coach. You're in for a very long season. That goes to all Giants fan. And um, this is for you guys, man. I, I, I'm not in for a long season. I called it. Oh, the. I said. I, I said the only th the only thing I feel good about was would be my defense, and they failed me. I had no. I, I said it from the beginning. I had no faith in Daniel Jones mm. whatsoever. Mm. Okay. And this is this is not a concept that this is new. You know, anybody who's been you no know, listening to our podcast and, and ever since I've been on have heard me say that Daniel Jones sucks and he's a burger that I have no faith and no trust in him. Do you have trust in your receivers? I have, uh, yeah, I can have trust in my receivers. Okay. I May mean, I give you this, man? Look, you get some kind of love because Andrew Thomas is not there. And he had like two tackles. He was one of them, right? He hasn't, he hasn't played in two weeks. Right. And there was another guy that was out. Look, this Evan Neal guy, I don't know what's going on with him, but I don't think he's adjusting well. I don't know what he's too big well, in college. Man. In, in college, he played mostly on the left side, left tackle, and they put him on right, yeah. Mm. So, and then, and not for nothing, the, the guy that's playing the right guard, they got him from the from Indy, and they thought they were getting uh, you know, a, a little bit above average line uh, alignment, and he's and he's been horrible, right? You know what I'm saying. So, 
Like right. I told everybody, I told everybody once they once they took Neil and they put him on the right side, you guys got to give him at least a year and a half to get accustomed to the to the NFL. Like Andrew Thomas, it literally took him about a year and a half to figure the stuff out on the left side, and he was a left tackle in college. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The NFL game is a little bit different; it's faster. You have to let down. You have to let people adjust to it. Cheers, Joseph. All right. So to sum it up, you just the Giants suck, right? <laughs> that's that's where we're that's where we're going with this. I is, can't is deny. It safe it. to say you're gonna have a top ten pick next year. Is that safe to say? I hope. I hope, and I hope they go with a quarterback. Yo, you know what? This might be the year of the of the quarterback for, from college. Is it? Maybe that Caleb Williams dude is looking great, but you guys won't even draft him. You'll probably get uh, uh, my man Sanders from Colorado. So, bro, I don't, I don't care if I get you as long as Daniel Jones is not my quarterback. Next year. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> would you? All right, would you get? Would you get Trey Lance on your team? He can't be any worse. Trey Lance, would you have Zach uh, Zach Wilson, which he he balled out to his standard. To his standard, he balled out. Well, again, like I told to Toe, to cheating Chiefs. Like I told Toe, if he takes what the defense gives him, he'll be fine. And then every once in a while, you can take a shot down the field, and that's what he did against the Chiefs. And I, before you came on, I literally said I would take Joe, I would take Zach Wilson over Daniel Jones. Plus, plus, those receivers caught those fucking balls too. You know what I'm saying? Like those are tight passes. Those receivers caught some fucking. All right, because but Zach you know, Wilson, had, Zach, Zach nice Wilson, catches. well, Zach, Zach Wilson, Wilson has in his bag. That yeah, game. he was feeling. Well, it. Zach like, Wilson has a gun. He has a gun. Right. Daniel Jones doesn't. Right. I said that last podcast. He has all the tools. I told you there's something about his confidence that's not there, that he's not making those throws that we saw last game. That game, he he's, he's, like, he's blossoming. like he's blossoming. Yeah. Let's, look, let's keep it for what let's do. It is what it is, and let's keep it funky because that's what we do on this podcast. Look, right. Zach Wilson is he's rich, right? His daddy owns I'm red, JetBlue. Red. His daddy owns JetBlue. He's, you know, thank you, daddy. You know, we fly because of JetBlue. He never been through struggles, right? We could, yeah. we could, we could see that. Yeah. We can imagine him going through poverty or struggles or or favoritism. You know what I mean? He he he's privileged to his own right. He didn't do anything. He was born into that. That's fine. His father worked hard. All those fathers don't, which puts us in weird situations. <laughs> <laughs> right? It is what it is. Right? So this is. Kind of sort of is laughable for most, but it's real for him, right? He's yeah. going through struggles right now that he never experienced in college. He was the man in BYU. He was the truth. Probably got the girls. He's a good-looking kid, right? Blue eyes, blonde oh, hair, smooth, well, well, we, we, uh, we don't, we don't, we don't, mad, we don't, mad mad we, 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 oh, we don't, he, we don't, he bags moms. He's a very, he's a very attractive kid. Milk hunter. We don't, he oh, wanted. Yeah, we, a, yeah we, we know he bags. We know he bags moms. He wanted to be an NFL quarterback, and he and he achieved this goal. This dude is winning in life, bro. Like to be honest, right? He's having a good life thus far. Yeah. Right. He comes to the Jets. Welcome to New York. New York. It doesn't matter how much money you got. You're struggling. Right. <laughs> he took. A, he took. A, well, he's eating humble pie now, but you can. We saw the immaturity. He is still young, so he's gonna go through that. We have to also be aware of that. So give him a little slack, right? He struggled with the Jets. He's losing. He got benched. This is his struggle. To others, we look at it. Oh, this dude is in the NFL crying. Wham, wham, wham. And I get that perspective as well. Because I come from that as well. Oh, this is what he's crying about. But a cry is a cry, right? That's his crying. That's his struggles. He never been to that. Yeah. In New York. In New York. Like the number one media in the world, bro. So, I, I want you guys to just focus on this cherry. It's shining so bright, and like, mm, 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 it's off figures. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking too much shit about your fucking your jets. 
So while you do that, Joseph, I, I hope so. Danny, lost Danny, 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 Danny <laughs> yeah, be on Danny, but Joseph, oh, I'm gonna okay. reply to Joseph. Yeah, I'm gonna start calling him Danny Burger from now on. And behind the Philly line, he'll still be a burger. Look, man, Zach Wilson is growing confidence. All that shit I just said, it was just to lead to this that. The dude is he's struggling not because he's whack. I think mentally he's struggling. This is his fight back. And against the Chiefs, I guess it put a chip on his shoulder because it was the Chiefs. Oh, the champions coming here, it's his hometown, New York. He wanted to prove something. Or maybe he wanted to prove that he's prettier and, than Taylor Swift. And Aaron Rodgers was in the in the stadium, Taylor Swift. Yo, who knows? But that was enough for him to show out, which he did to his standards. I think they should they should have won that game. He has some missed throws. One for a touchdown, and I think one for like a big game, like yeah, and a fumble. Yeah, and you know what I mean. Like, what was yeah. was that the snap? Nerves was yeah. rattling, but you could tell he's coming in. Like he's coming. I, it, shit happens, so that fumble really isn't on him. But that fucking holding call that they put on Sauce when he intercepted the fucking pass right at the end of the game. I, I put that it was on bullshit. 1080. You put it on 1080. Yeah. Did anything change? It was at 720. I don't know why it went down to 4 480. Yeah, I, I, I'm not nervous to change. All right, let me cut. Let me leave and come back. I'll be back, guys. All right, but yeah, yo, that that fucking that interception that turned into a flag, def defensive holding where my man just touched him, and <laughs> but the entire defensive line was being held and, and by gunpoint, <laughs> so that way they wouldn't get to Mahomes, and they called the flag on the Jets. That's what cost them the game. I'll give you that. The fuck, yo, bro. It, the jet, yo, the, the refs do not need to cheat the whole game. They just need to make a very fucking important call at the end of the game. And that's what they did in the Super Bowl, and that's what they did on fucking Sunday. But Zach Wilson did look good, but it, I, I'm, I'm believing that the receivers were on some, we're not going to lose this fucking game. You know what I'm saying? Like now you look better. Okay. You look way better. You look normal now. Got you. Before you look like you was. You, it was on was, 720. I don't know why yeah. it went back. Yeah. It, sometimes this platform does that stupid shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yo, it, it, like I said, I saw the highlights because I was watching the AEW pay per view, but it did look like the team was like, "Yo, we're here to win. We cannot keep losing these fucking games." And Zach Wilson was on. Like it, it kind of was like, if you get me the ball, I'll catch it. So yeah. Zach was like, all right, I'm just going to give these niggas the ball. And then oh. the refs was like, oh, wait, I'm sorry. You cannot but win this but, game. But truly, how bad how, how bad was Zach Wilson if your man Garrett Wilson won Rookie of the Year last year? He had to get the ball from somebody. Mike White. Right. But this is the year. Mike White. This is, this is... <laughs> Mike White didn't play all those games. Yo, he played the ones we won. <laughs> he played the hey. ones we won. <laughs> True, but then it's like, but this is the the era of the struggle, man. Yeah. This is what sophomore, third year. This is his third his year, third, right? Yeah, his third year. He's a baby, man, and that's it, man. He's just going through his struggles. I'm happy he went through. It was prime time Sunday night football, you know, against the champions, Taylor Swift. I'm sorry, I can't stand her anymore. I can't, but. <laughs> <laughs> that played a factor. It played a factor. Yeah. Let, let's keep it funky, though. Aaron Rodgers showed up. Yeah. Let, let's keep it funky, though. Aaron One Rodgers game, showed up because he's friends with Taylor Swift. <laughs> One game does not make a player. No. Look at, look at, um, look at, so, fucking, tell that to um, Giants fans. Look at, look at your boy from the Eagles that won the Super Bowl with you, like your backup quarterback. Foles. Nick Foles, yeah. Nick Foles. He wins the Super Bowl. He's a Super Bowl winning quarterback. He can't, even get a, he can't even be a starting quarterback on any other team. Right. It's a team. Well, that, you know what I'm well, saying? Like, this, one game does not make a quarterback. Absolutely not. Correct. So this is why I say my team carries hurts. <laughs> That's how I was agreeing. Like, right. Yeah, no, yeah. You're absolutely right. It's true. Jordan ain't do it. No one does it. Dolan, no sports. Yeah. So That's your tennis. Yeah. Even in tennis, you have a coach. Or you yeah. come up with a game plan. Like, you know what I mean? Everything is. Look, man. I think Zach Wilson is going to be fine. He had a little offseason behind Aaron Rodgers, which kind of showed because it was mimicking his moves against Aaron Rodgers, like video by video, like frame by frame. Yeah. And he took some stuff. You know what I mean? Which, Clearly, which is a good thing. Yeah. Can't be mad at that, man. Like, look, you're going to learn the best. You learn from the best. I you take from the best. 
people should be patient with him, a little bit more encouraging. He's a he's a new era baby, man. His mental is kind of soft. It's soft right now. It's mushy. I think I think the biggest issue with him is that he's starting. We wouldn't have an issue with him if he was if he was the backup. Who would you have he, right he, now? He's the best option right now. Right now, yeah. But like we threw him in the fire and yeah. he hasn't he hasn't fucking came. We he's threw him in the eight. woods and twice someone had to go get him. You threw him in the fire and he's <laughs> burning right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he's you know burning. how back in the day you throw a kid in the wolves and he comes back with a fucking a kid in the woods, uh, he comes back with a bare fucking skin. And now, and yeah, now I'm a man. Yeah. Like, we threw Zach Wilson in the in the wolf and he was the, hugging the right tree of passage. Blowing a whistle. Yeah, he was hugging the tree, blowing a whistle. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he was not, he would not be a Spartan. But, but, yeah. Yeah, but the, the the thing is, most people get forged in that fire. He's not getting forged in that fire. This guy needs to he needs to bake a little longer. And as a starting quarterback on a team that's supposed that's made to win the Super Bowl, Yo, it's not. It's I not came out wanting to win. Yeah, I came out wanting to prove a point. That was a big statement game. That yeah. was a big game for you guys, and it was it was robbed. It was taken yeah. from you guys. My man, it really was. The, it was the Jets started the call to form Voltron, and Zach Wilson said, "And now form the head." And everybody was like, "Fuck!" Their defense had Patrick Mahomes looking like he was Danny Dimes in the second half. Seriously, and that's how I knew. Oh, they they playing, playing. playing. Yeah. They're not trying to get the the number one draft pick. They playing. They really yeah. believe, and especially with Emory Rogers overlooking, they gave him like, you know what I mean? For you, OG. And Yo, Zach Wilson too. Like I'm gonna make you proud. I got a quick. What happened to Dalvin Cook? He, he, he wasn't playing. He, he shouldn't hurt? play. What, why, why wasn't he playing? Because he shouldn't be. <laughs> Dang. That's my personal opinion. And if I was coach, I think they're doing the right thing. They, she shouldn't be playing right now. Sit down. You're Dalvin Cook. Yes, you're Dalvin Cook. But sit down. This is Brees's whole team. Like that's the future right there. I, I've seen Carter. Like your Carter last season stepped up. When right. Right, Rice Hall got fucking hurt, but and that's Brees's. Yeah, that that's their guy. No, yeah, they yeah. drafted him for that. Like that's their guy. So no matter, I, I don't care who they get free agency. That's their guy. You know what I mean? And that's and that's a good guy. guy. Yeah, no, yeah. that's a very. I feel him. Keep feeding him the ball. And they're young. He had a big injury last year. Let him. Yeah. Let him have a full season under his belt. Let him get that 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 taste. You know, in the kitchen. Like let him cook. Lose, see, win, the, or nothing. Just, you, you see with the difference with Sauce and Garrett Wilson and, and Reese Hall, we're throwing them in the fire and they're coming out looking like blades. You know what I'm saying? They're being forged. We're, yeah, we're, they, because they yeah, No, they are know, being forged. They're cut from a different cloth. Yeah. No, it's true. It, like, listen, as much as I say shit ain't an excuse, if you ain't got that dog in you, that's an excuse on why you ain't got you know you you no, fold that, under pressure. That is, of course, that's part yeah. of the main reason. But you could build the dog. Yeah, you they, could always build a dog anytime. Yeah. You just snap into that you, right now. He got no choice but to build this dog. See, that's the thing. Wilson is he has as long as we're gonna give him to build this fucking dog. The problem is he can't build. He can't have this dog in him day in the last day because that's too late. He got to do. The same way you 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 um, criticize Hurts, I still haven't seen it. I gotta see this. Uh, when we play a whack team, I want to see him do this. Right. Because apparently every time we play a whack team, my man is trying to be fucking behind the back, call him globe trotter for eighty yards type shit. He played football on Sunday. I don't know what the fuck he plays every other game. Foosball. Yeah. My team you know, sucks right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're four zero. Uh, I'll take it. The script, right? Yeah, but it's not about the amount of games you win. It's about how no, Jalen Hurts is fucking up the team. <laughs> <laughs> in football, it's like literally how you finish. You know what I mean? So I'll take that. I'm making playoffs. Look, all right. Let me be clear. I feel this way because look, I'm expecting my team to go to the playoffs. So, like, one, I'm waiting there, but the way we are getting there, I'm not a fan of. Is that better to say? Instead of yeah. putting on whack. You know, I'm not, I'm not, we're not looking 
better or the same from last season, which worries me because we have to build on that. And if that was our best and now this is we're declining, how am I supposed to be happy with that? I'm expecting better because I saw better last season. Why what was what's stopping now? What's the difference? We should get better. We got the we got better team. We got a better better players now. What's going on? What's going on? You got a you got a tougher schedule. We do injuries on defense. We still got a good defense, but people are passing like 300 yards on us fucking daily. Yeah. <laughs> and there's football once a week. <laughs> Yes, so yours, man. Yo, Kirk Cousins well, I dropped like three sixty. I, I haven't, I, I haven't was dropping seen, bombs on us, bro. I haven't seen y'all your defensive line and linebackers get after quarterbacks like they were last year. Mm-mm. But we putting the, the pressure is there, but not the sacks. Right, not the sacks. The pressure is there. We get some. We get sacks, but it's not like last year, which is why I'm going crazy. Like, what's what's going on now? But Damn, no we man wait, we're four no. Close to the command. Yo, we almost lost to the Commanders. We almost lost every game. <laughs> Looking like the Giants from last season. Yeah, we're like, we're struggling to win teams that we should just put away. But we let them climb back or, you know, we, f- we fumble. I, but, I mean, I would rather be undefeated and, and, and well, we are, fight, so. you know, and fight and win the game than just Is that give up. the opponents we're doing that with? We shouldn't be doing it with them like that. Yeah. Which worries me when we do play the heavy hitters coming soon. The 49ers that got their calendar circled when we play, you know, they want that rematch. You know, that's gonna be, we're I, I, yo, be honest, I think we're gonna get stomped on, and I'm, I'm praying we don't, but that's what I that's how I feel. Like 49ers want blood, like you know, because they yeah. took them out last season in the playoffs. We hurt their quarterback, they had no quarterback. We embarrassed them, we looked, we made them look stupid, and I think it's payback time. Well, you never know. You might hurt. Them. You might hurt their quarterback again. I hope. But yeah, <laughs> we play them. We're gonna play. I think the Bills. Said, I hope. <laughs> they can say, they, these niggas gonna walk on the field like, "Go get it twisted, nigga. We come to hurt you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we play football every other week. We coming to hurt you." No, we play the Chiefs November twentieth. I got that day circled. I want my fucking rematch. But the way we're playing, I think they're gonna we're gonna get waxed. The way the, the way hurts. Is playing because it's not my running game. DeAndre Swift is killing it. Yeah, but your cornerbacks ain't stopping nobody at all. It's time for new cornerbacks. Those old, the old man. I love Darius Slay. He still makes plays, man, but he's getting burnt out there. Yeah, him and James Bradley. They're getting burnt. They're getting burnt. I see it on replays. They get they're running fat. They're running slower. Speak, speaking of quarterbacks. Do you feel that um, Colin Kaepernick should should have never like hit up the Jets to be on some? Let me be in your practice squad. No, like he should have like, never. Yeah, and it's and it's never. no and, and it's, it's not because I don't think he's that good or whatever. It's I I literally think he 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 it's. How do I put this? He looks like a loser begging. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. You hit it on the spot. That's what it is. Call a spade a spade. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He looks like a loser begging. Uh, uh, look, no disrespect. I- I'll take a, a Kaepernick who hasn't played in seven years over Daniel Jones. Jesus Christ. That's crazy. I don't think Kaepernick was that fucking good to begin with either. He was okay. He was good. What Brazy. up, Brazy? He was good. He was decent. He was manageable. 49ers once again had a good overall team. Yeah. They have a uh, they have the complete package with McCaffrey killing it. Yo, bro, they got McCaffrey. But the teams already know how to beat Colin Kaepernick. Just turn the power off in the fucking in the <laughs> that the time. Yeah, turn the power off for about 10 minutes and let Kaepernick fold under the pressure. May said it the best, man. Like, you know, you took a knee to protest against the NFL. Now you're taking a knee to get back in it. Yeah. Like, if you're going to take a righteous stand, stand on it. And like, you knew what was going to happen. Yeah. You have to take yeah. that on the chin. Because to be honest with you, when he sued the NFL and they paid him, they swiped on the, all that shit underneath the rug. Yeah, that was it. That they, was the business. Every, yeah, everything nice he business. stood for... He sold 
to the oh, NFL. You folded. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Your, your, your career is done. Yeah, and then he's trying to get back in the NFL. Like, you should have thought about that shit when you started the problem. And they like, gave you, him you a nice little a mar- bag. Martyrs die. That's what makes you a martyr. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you can't play the NFL no more, so you're a martyr now. And you got your money. Now go be like Kobe and go go do something else. Just don't get on, on helicopters, please. I'd rather niggas fly on planes. Yeah. Because yeah, I, I was, it was... It was the Mix interview I heard with that stuff. But then you, you hear... It's like he hits up the Jets. And would you... As an NFL team, despite the fact... All the controversy and shit. With him not playing for seven years. And... And... and um, oh, fuck. Uh, Who? I don't know oh. why McNabb is in my head. Uh, the Panthers... Quarterback. Newton. Newton. Cam Newton. Him and Cam Newton not playing for the X amount of years that they've been playing. Would y'all even consider them to be on your team? How desperate are we? Give me a scenario. Give me a Giants situation. desperate. Giants <laughs> desperate? No. Giants, Giants desperate. No, no. I wouldn't get them Giants. That's not desperate. Desperate Desperate for me is like, like a 49ers. Like if they go down, my team. If we if Hertz goes down, I I'll get a Newton. Don't you don't you have the stash or is the stash stash somewhere know, else? The stash is in the Panthers. How's he? He really? Oh yeah, the PC crazy. Yo, whenever. Um, who? What is that? Okay, so that's right. That's right. Down Donald is on the uh, 49ers. Yeah, he's on the 49ers. Uh, my, my, my Sam, my man Sam Donald. Yeah, I got no good backup. Like if my team was like, you know, quarterback her, I'll get yeah, like, I'll bring who, Nick Foles who is back. your backup? I don't know. I think Tanner McKee, rookie. <laughs> we in trouble. Man. We in trouble. I'll take him all the day, Jones. <laughs> Yo, he's six six. I'll take him too. So so you would consider Kaepernick or uh um Mc- yeah, if I was in a position to win the Super Bowl and I just need a quarterback like with a, a manageable quarterback that's like don't doesn't turn the ball over, gets first downs, don't have to be flashy. I'll I'll get it. I'll get mid season. You could do that. Mid season? No. Like over the over the, the the break. Like off season you would get him. Or would you No, I'll like, get him if like my play my quarterback goes down in the playoffs. Or All before right. the playoffs, or leading into the playoffs, like two weeks out, like say, okay, my quarterback like, gets like, a nasty injury, like out ACL done. Like with Aaron Rodgers, like going out first game, would you consider them? No, not Cam really? Newton. Yeah, not Cam Newton. What about Kaepernick? <laughs> and those are my options, right? Well. It, it, if those are my only two options, option. Cap and Newton, I think I'll, I'll go with Newton. If you had a better option, then you could pick one of those. But I'm saying, like, if let's say you're scrambling, the Jets are going, people are giving you offers left and right, Cam Newton and fucking and Kaepernick hit you up, like, yo, I'll, I'll be, I'll, I'll fucking come in and quarterback for you. Would you even consider it? I would, yeah. Yeah, I would. Because I'm not coming at them on some racist shit like that, like they are. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I would, of course. I like, I wasn't a fan of him, but yeah. I wasn't an enemy either. I was just like, yo, uh, fuck it. I, he played in the Super Bowl. He was okay. All right. So, being honest, you think that they would actually do something? Like if they were on the Jets, let's say if the Jets turn around and said. We got Cam, we got fucking Colin Kaepernick. Jacoby Brissett. Because <laughs> in my opinion, if they turn around and say we I got Colin so. Kaepernick as a quarterback, I would be like, I would seriously be on some. The button doesn't want to work. Oh, no, <laughs> we suck again. Oh, like, no. there you go. We suck again. Because he hasn't played. He doesn't know the fucking the, the playbook. I don't see him as a quarterback that fucking can absorb all that shit at once because from what I understood Cam Newton was just fucking Mahomes just not as good. I'm gonna, <laughs> you open no I'm gonna run the ball. He had a good start of his in his career. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, and and Cam Newton, I, I, I don't see, I don't see a next level quarterback that is even without a team. Them niggas did some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though we would have had yeah. the team around them, it's like you, if you was playing and they and they was like willing to give up Colin Kaepernick, I, you ain't playing. Like Kirk yeah. Cousins, I think would look better than fucking Colin Kaepernick. I would love Kirk Cousins for you, but I wouldn't get them early in the season, man. I wouldn't only because I think they'll they'll mess up the season. I think they'll they will only have like three four games in them. Yeah. So like if Aaron Rodgers goes down, I, I, Cam Newton sounds nice, but for a full season to and Super Bowl, what we're expecting, not. Nah. Yeah. He, you know he can't last. He won't last. You know he'll get injured at one point, guaranteed. You know. I'm pretty sure he'll, uh, he'll miss some games, man. Because <laughs> obviously we don't protect it's an extra game right. too. Yeah, the O line is not all there either, yeah. so it'll be a lot of running for him. Um, now, nah. late season entering playoffs, I'll get him. Fresh legs, everyone's hurt, banged up. He comes in fresh. <laughs> he got just running, uh, just running all day. <laughs> the pace that he has to play, he could he could go around six rounds, right? <laughs> I'll now you talking about like right. you talking about Cam? Yeah. <laughs> My man got a club of laners. Just throw haymakers until you get tired. <laughs> Hopefully you knock somebody out. But this is it. I think that'll be the best yeah. chance. Oh, so you would take Cam over Kaepernick? Damn. Well, at least Cam went to some trials. Like he, yeah, he I've has seen thrown Cam the ball on, more on fucking camera. Uh, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen Cam cap play in a lot of years. Right, but yeah. we also we also know that the, one of the reasons Cam stopped playing is because he fucked up his shoulder. But the last, what was it, the, the beginning of... I mean, he's healed now. <laughs> what was it, like, last year he was showing, so. he went to the, didn't he go to, like, the combine or some shit like that, or some tryout, and yeah. he was throwing bombs? Yeah. I mean, that doesn't make him a fucking good quarterback for the <laughs> for the Jets, but I'm just saying, like, he was, he showed that his arm was still good. I mean, I guess... I hear you, but I, like, uh, but what about you, Hutch? Giants right now, Cam Newton and Kaepernick was like, "Yo, we'll 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 play for you." I, I you know what? Simply because I'm I'm still, you know, cat, you know, Cam with his injury history injury. You know, Kaepernick never really got injured, so I, I might take Kaepernick. Even with the shoulder injury, he didn't have a shoulder injury. Kaepernick, you just told me. One of the no, Cam had the shoulder injury. Cam. Cam. Oh, they said Cap. No, Cam had the surgery. The soldier, uh, oh. surgery, surgery injury. Remember his last year with with um with with uh the Panthers, you couldn't even throw the ball. I don't know. They both suck. You know. <laughs> it is what it is, but moving forward, the Chiefs are cheaters. It's time for them to get exposed, right? Illuminati, cartels, whoever's in it, like, please stop. Like, you're ruining the game. Well, listen, they hired Taylor Swift to go out with this fucking guy that no one knows, except a football Dude. fan. Yo, the Chiefs are gonna be the new fucking Emmett Smith, Troy Aikman, fucking Cowboys. This is <laughs> it's all, right in our faces, bro. That's crazy. Yeah. It's, it's not a coincidence that the That's hottest, crazy. the hottest white girl, the most famous white girl you got, is going out with the white running back on the famous team for the famous quarterback that just won the Super Bowl twice. I mean, not the, 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 you know, the the the. I'm sorry. The refs won the Super Bowl last year, but the Chiefs got the trophy. It's it, it, listen, man. It's not that it's hard to bro. see. It's like the Lakers need to get into the playoffs. So you know, they, I'll tell you this much: at least me, like being real, bro. It's watering down 
his recent accomplishments. He could have it, but and I won't even give him an asterisk. I won't. But me personally, this shit is water. It's getting watered down. Your ice is melting in your drink. Like you know. Yeah. Not that he's not nice. I know he's nice. He's a Hall of Famer. He be deserves to be in there. But like the recent accomplishments with the with the refs helping and like the narrative, the script, quote unquote. You know what I mean? The script. You know, I'm not. I'm not blaming him. It's just it's happening. You know what I mean? <laughs> right in our face, bro. It's right in our face. This dude is gonna get like eight chips. They don't want Brady. They, yo, the NFL is happy Brady left. <laughs> this is gonna be the new face. Yep. Is despite how many fucking times the but rep- he is nice. I'm not gonna say all games. Like, don't get it twisted. Like, you know what I mean. But if they need any win <laughs> or any help to win or put them in a position to win, I yeah. think they're favorable. And I'm not bugging. You know. But uh, I'm starting to hate them, man. I really am. <laughs> Real talk. I'm starting to hate the cheese, bro. A little a salty from Super Bowl, yeah. But recent now with the Jets, like when I saw it like live, I was like dumb too. Like, what's going on? Nah, that's whack. That's corny. That's corny. <laughs> that's corny. Yeah, I think the Bills are for real. No. No. I think the Dolphins are gonna fold. It looks like mid-season, it. Mid season, maybe. It looks like it. From what I seen in that game, the Dolphins look a little off. They look like like fucking kids playing the game. I didn't get to see that game. I saw I saw the highlights. I saw the highlights of most of the games. Mm. The Redskins, Sam Howell is gonna be okay. I think the 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 Commanders. Like, I think the Commanders got their quarterback. I think you know who don't have their quarterback? Man. Your team, <laughs> the Giants. No, Atlanta. What's going on with my man Rid- the Riddler, bro? Oh, <laughs> uh, that's a good one too. The Falcons QB situation is straight butt cheeks right now. I, now you I think it's uh, Cal? You think Cal Pitts is warming up because of him, or I, Cal Pitts is just over overrated? No, I don't think it's overrated. I think it's Desmond Ritter. Period. This, this, his balls are bad. Pause. He has bad balls. So, and but I, I kept, I'm not too. Like I don't pity them too much because they have B. John Robinson, and that kid is gonna be very, very special, man. Bijan is nice, for oh, sure. Yeah. And I, they need a quarterback because that team could be special. And that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> and Belichick finally regressing. Is come on, bro. It was all Brady. Yeah, I don't think finally like he wasn't good the minute Brady left. <laughs> yeah, he didn't the minute Brady left, left, the Patriots they started losing games before the season started. <laughs> and I gave it time. I gave it time to see. Yeah, you know. As soon as Brady ret- uh, left the Patriots, oh, is this? It was because of the Patriots because of Belichick. <laughs> then that narrative. I ain't pick a side. Yeah, I'm like, let's let's find out. Because if Belichick was still like playoff bound seasons every season after Brady left then I'll be on so oh wait a minute you know I see I see a would pattern you, here he's just a winning coach would you yeah would you say that Brady's the last player with a dog in him Ooh. Or a quarterback we could say quarterback but yeah because it plays as, mad players with that but as a quarterback the quarterback position yeah let's go down the line all right, let's start with the Bears. The Justin Fields, you think he has dog in him? No. No? Yeah, I don't. Nay, chat. Yeah, nay. And last year he looked good. Justin Fields. Justin Fields, you think there's like he has a dog in him? I think he has a dog chasing him. Come on, man. You he think did last a... season. That's why he was running the ball. You, so think, you, think, he, you think he's a bear? You think he's a real bear? Yeah. Yeah, you think he has dog in him? All right. Okay. How about Sam Sam Howell from the Redskins? Commanders. The Red Commanders? <laughs> no. I don't know, man. I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing. Like, I, I don't hear anything about the Commanders through the grapevine. They just. 
I feel, I'll they say he has dog. I'll say the NFL players play. I'll say yeah. You think Trevor Lawrence got dog in him? I think. I yeah. Think, I think. All right. If they got dog in them, it's a Chihuahua. Hmm. But Tom Brady got a fucking pit bull or a fucking he got a fighting dog in him. Hmm. Like that motherfucker walks around with a twenty pound chain around his neck. Fucking growling at other dogs like yeah, I'm, I'm listen, ready to kill you. I think I think my man Sunshine got the dog in him. Tre- Trevor Lawrence definitely got the dog in him. Yeah, like Joe Burrow, you know he got the dog in him. Yeah, he got the dog in him. I think I could, he's up there. He's up there with dog in him. I think Anthony Richardson too. You know who don't got that dog in him? Daniel Jones. <laughs> I was about to say that. <laughs> no, no. To be honest, I think Daniel Jones got some dog in him, bro. Because I was getting shellacked, and my man was still running for those 15-yard first downs, man. And, and he don't slide, bro. So you got to give some respect. He don't slide. He don't. He runs into tacklers and gets tackled. He's a okay. big dude. So that's the difference. Tom Brady has the talent with the dog. Daniel Jones doesn't. <laughs> but Brady slid, though. He took the knee. Yo, Danny don't do that. Even if he's a bitch, but he has heart. I won't say dog. He has heart. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. Different. Mike, so my man Aaron Rodgers live. Aaron Rodgers got dog in him. You crazy? He's the most tackled quarterback in the history of the game. But he slides. <laughs> yeah, but not, he didn't slide when when he was on the Jets. Derek Carr got dog in him. Facts. Yeah. Derek Carr got some dog in him, bro. Yeah, but do, do they have enough dog to get it to go to a Super Bowl and win? Not, no, that's skills. They got dog though. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I but think that dog think, don't have too much tricks. They don't know too much tricks. I think if Brady actually came to the Jets, like let's say he's like, yo, fuck it, I'll come out of retirement playing the Jets. I think Brady would have enough dog to drag these to drag the fucking Jets to a winning he, season. Uh, you just got dog. Yeah, your, your coach is a dog. Yeah. So he's a defensive coach. So you know who got that dog be in him? Tough to be a defensive, uh, defensive. You know who got the dog in him, really? Who? Kirk Cousins. You like that? You like oh, he that? Got, he got dog in him. He got skill in him. Who else? What about Jalen Hurts? <laughs> he acts like he got dog in him. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe they said they said he had like a flu, flu like symptom game. He had like the, he had the flu game. That was they were quoting it as that. Like he wasn't feeling well. What game was it? Was it Monday night? The Monday night game. It was before you think the commanders. It, the fuck you think your man play? Gino got the dog in him? Yeah, I think he got dog in him. You saw yeah, the so the game it. against the Giants. Like you saw your shit. You saw that when they fell on his ankle, he, he got up one. You know, he walked up to the huddle or something like, "Watch that shit, bro!" Like play clean. He was pressing him. He went to your whole team. Your team didn't do shit. Oh shit! He just okay. at the huddle. <laughs> okay. Uh, your man CJ Shroud. And my man spit in the face of your coach. Do you know that dog? Jalen Hurts got that dog. Come on, Joseph. Though at least don't don't write it in caps, though. <laughs> Spell dog right. <laughs> at least, yeah. Lower the caps. Stop screaming at me and, and write dog the correct way. And I give it. All right, I can have that with Jalen Hurts. <laughs> he acts like it. You got your banjo on the team. You still have him. Do you know? Yeah, that's it. I'll give you that. Yeah, but Gino still sucks. <laughs> you know, let's keep it real. I'm happy for Gino. Yeah. I'm happy for Gino. He came back to the scene in a very positive way. You know what I mean? My man Brock Curry. He had, a good, he had and he has a good team. He has DK Metcalf. He got, you know, yeah. he got Lockett. They got a nice rec- uh, receiving core. You, do y'all think Zach Wilson has that dog in him? He has that milk in him. Hey yo, what you wait a minute. Ain't he milk supposed to be in the milk? Ain't milk, he supposed to be milk. in the milk? <laughs> Thank you. I was she was for fucking that. him. <laughs> Don't you can't be bragging that she had a 12 inch cock. <laughs> oh no. he he got he she they're definitely taking it. 
Hey, yo. <laughs> but, hey, man. Yeah, another they, news. He looks they definitely, like a dog. They definitely, they definitely schooling your man, Zach Wilson. He looks like he, he, you know, he got the headband. He looked tough. He looks like a, Yo, a you baby. know, got a he dog like in a, him. A, a baby scene. You know who got the dog in him? Brock Purdy. I think you're a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Do Do you guys think that the um, for the, the the one of a big name for the NFL is fucking up the progression of the actual players? Like, cause back in the day, you you got a rookie off of the off of the fucking draft. They still had to earn their spot on the on the you know the starting team. But the quarterback usually fucking was second string for a couple of years to learn the system and all that other shit. It wasn't just thrown into the system. No matter how much the team sucked, they they didn't throw in their their, their rookies. You think that? They're fucking up the game by throwing in the rookie so so fast, trying to make stars out of these kids. Um, I think back in that time they were doing that. Everyone had a good quarterback. Uh, I felt like most teams had a good quarterback. We had goats back in our days, you know, with the Payton, with the weather, with the Manning. Like we had, we had quarterbacks like all across. Like, right? Am I bugging? No, we there was even, some good quarterbacks. Even with the, loser, the like the John Kittner days with Detroit, like they were like winless, but he was still a good quarterback. He was like the Kirk Cousins, the like the OG Kirk Cousins. But you know what? You know what it is, Krills. Uh, we had teams, Vic. We had teams Brady. nowadays don't have that luxury, especially when it comes to a quarterback, simply because of the contract. Nowadays, most teams are trying to win. When the quarterback is on that rookie contract, because once that rookie contract is up, hit that big bucks comes to town. Right. So they got to see what they have now. Yes. That so they to have be, to see the what they have move. now to see if they're going to be able to pay that quarterback the money they they're looking for. Right, but it's hard to do when your starting quarterback is winning games, or at least good enough to win games. You know. Like, would you would you start a rookie quarterback over Kirk Cousins right now? Like, if you was the if you were the Vikings, you, you guys are like what one and two? Not you guys, not a fan, but uh, where the fuck? Yeah, are the one and three. They're one and three right now. Yeah, and go look at Kirk Cousins' numbers, stat wise, off the charts. Would you put a rookie in right now? No, because you got, can, like you, the time. No, because you can tell that the defense is the one is the is the side of the ball that's not doing it. All right, so you wouldn't, right? So let's say you drafted a, a quarterback first round, first pick or second pick, right? This and I'm in the, and, and I'm in now, Minnesota and you're in this and, you're in this and I'm in Minnesota. Right yeah, I'm training Kirk Cousins for more picks. And and you start your rookie one and three. Kirk hell hell yeah, good, but you're still yeah. losing. Fucking yeah. see what we have right now. What can we lose? Right? Absolutely. Okay. I'll trade Kirk Cousins for draft picks and put in the rookie. See what he got. Okay. That's because you fair. got you. I mean, look, look what happened to Arizona. Kyler Murray played decent his first year, better his second year. Bitching moaning about his contract, got that contract extension. What he had now? He got he had beef with Hopkins. <laughs> he that man is about to get cut. But imagine that he just signed that contract last year. He's about to get cut. Yeah. All right, so Krills. So you're the Jets. The Vikings are we're open to negotiation. Are you trading two draft picks to the Vikings for Kirk Cousins right now? No. Not after the game Zach Wilson gave me, no. If Zach Wilson would have gave me the other games we saw of, then yeah. But like in like reality right now, like real time, no. Because Zach Wilson performed good. So I will run with that. Like, you know, I'll try to build on that. 
You will let this be the turn in Zach Wilson. It's he got the keys right now. So let's see where he takes us. It's on him. It's all on him. It's clear as day, right? It's all it's all on Zach yeah. Wilson. Let him eat this. Good or bad. Let, let him he has to he has to eat this. He has no choice. I don't think y'all are gonna do anything crazy this by the trade the trade deadline. I don't think y'all not gonna y'all not gonna do anything. And y'all shouldn't. I don't think I should. Write this one out, man. At least get a, a backup quarterback. I don't know who I back up. I get it though. I, I sense the urgency. Because you do have a solid team. O line is uh sus, but we but yeah, winnable. You know, that defense could help yeah. y'all win a lot of games. What what sucks is that we got a solid team, but a lot of our yeah. solid players are one year. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like this was Super Bowl or bust because what happens next year, you know, if Aaron Rodgers well, I don't think so. a lot of our players no, leave. No, I don't think so. <laughs> you know what? You, I don't think so. You got Garrett Wilson, Hall. You got, you know, your man Gardner. I mean, your, your one and duns are pretty much the guys that, that Aaron Rodgers wanted in the team. And none of those are super stars. You Cobb. The other kid that yeah. was in the Packers. But those are the dudes that Aaron Rodgers were comfortable throwing to. You, you look know comfortable like, throwing at my man that, Garrett Wilson. Yeah, those are the dudes yeah. that, that went up to the rest of the team and said, if you don't know your routes, Aaron Rodgers ain't throwing you the fucking ball. They were there to coach. You know? And then, then they're gone. So now, one, do you think Aaron Rodgers is coming back next season? And two, does this solidify that Zach Wilson is our future quarterback? I don't think it solidifies it. Not right now. But once Aaron Rodgers heals, he I tell you what, I don't, I don't, I think Aaron Rodgers comes back. Of course, he's gonna come back. Not the, or next year, he's coming back, bro. When I don't think, I don't think, deal. I don't think he, the dog in him won't let him retire off of injury. No. He's already at the stadium catching passes and running routes. I've seen him. <laughs> <laughs> Tina with the crutches he caught the pass, he threw it, he threw he a bullet. holding his ankle together. Yo, bro, the fucking <laughs> cheating chiefs, bro. Anyway, uh, so, basketball, bro. Yeah. What's up with Jimmy Butler? You want to talk about that? Well, yo, that, that emo, <laughs> <laughs> that, I I emo. that I fall for you. <laughs> that was some crazy. shit Is that something he's rocking? Like. I, I think he just did that for the picture. He just did that for media day. Yeah, I think so. I think. Remember, he. I think he's pulling a LeBron. Where you know LeBron had a lot of hate on him, and he had to change the narrative of that. I think Jimmy Butler is on some. Yo, we're still here. You know what I'm saying? Like, we everybody's talking about Jimmy Butler and that hair and the heat and all that other shit. They didn't get Damian Lillard, but Jimmy Butler's showing he don't give a shit if Damian Lillard's not on the team. I just hate the narrative. Like, look, man, this is a very sensitive time right now. What, what's on the media in regards to men and and women? You know, uh, fusions. Right? Don't, don't get us banned. Don't get us banned. Like the now the, the narrative, LGBT man. Feud. It's just like the pictures, the clips they, they have of him. Like the part yeah. of him just like wiping. He looks feminine doing that. Yeah. It's like, why that still? You know, why yeah. Why would you clip that that one? So I'm not a fan of it. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't like the narrative behind it. Jimmy mm-hmm. probably did it just because he could do whatever it's the fuck just he to be funny. But that wasn't his intent. Yeah. To yeah. be womanized. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're womanizing this. Like the, I see a picture of this dude, and he looks like he's just he's a, he's a like, Snapchat filter. He came out I'm of like, the Snapchat the filter, and and they they're trying to make him look transsexual. Is that that's right. that's pretty much what the what the, this this, this right. the conversation's going. I don't, I like you know everyone's watching, man. You know. Yeah. No, I I hear you. But it was funny to me. Yeah. No, it's funny to me. Yeah, it was funny to me. I was laughing at it. I didn't think of it the first time I saw it. Oh, why are you doing that? I was just laughing. Like, he's stupid yeah, for that. You knew that. It was, uh, yeah. <laughs> like, somebody walks out looking that ridiculous. You know why. 
You know why. <laughs> got that the did that shit on purpose. <laughs> yeah, he got the attention he was looking for. Uh, pretty much. That's what he wanted, and he got it. But it was funny. It was whatever. Yeah, as long as he goes back, yeah, if he plays ball like that, <laughs> I, I, you know, I'll if he plays ball like that, <laughs> that would be hilarious. Joseph, yeah, I like that I one. Hear. I like that one. He's sweating and shit. Where the love below Jimmy Butler. <laughs> <laughs> Butler 3000. <laughs> Where? <laughs> What's colder than being cold? Ice cold. <laughs> <laughs> Buckets. Oh, what's what's hotter than being hot? Miami Heat. But yo, James Harden showed up to to training camp. He showed up to practice. Was it seventy six? How, how much did yeah, he weigh? He up. I I don't know how much he weighed. I just saw the headline that he showed up. <laughs> he goes. I don't know how much he weighed. <laughs> yeah, yo, last season. Oh shit, that's that's pretty funny. Zion is walling out. Well, he's not walling out, but he is walling out. Who, Zion? His, yeah, his immaturity, man. Hope he re- he's going to rebound from it, but he needs to leave the Pelicans. Harden showed up heavier? I knew it. I knew it. My man is heavy. My man got a beer gut. Drew Holiday went to the Celtics. How you guys feel about that? He would do it? The Celtics. Drew Holiday. Yeah, no, we we talked about that last time. We were like, yo, he got traded from Milwaukee to Portland, then Portland traded and right back to, to the Celtics. Now, because that trade happened so fast. Do you think that that uh, Portland uh, scheduled that wait before, like right after, right as they're doing that trade for Holiday, they reached out and said, "Yo, what do y'all want for him? Like, what will y'all give us for for Holiday?" Because that should happen like from one day to another. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I didn't. I, I don't know that the deal that went down the trades. Like, I just know Damien landed in the Bucks. And then Drew yeah. Holiday was in Portland, then went to Celtics. Yeah. Yo, they're saying Type that uh, <laughs> James Harden is giving off um, Ben Simmons vibes. Yeah, when Ben James, Simmons showed ben up Simmons to the seventy six. Yeah, where he showed no, where he showed up to the seventy sixes practice after he said they wasn't, and he just had that look on his face. And then you see a picture of James Harden just leaning on the basket, on like on the basketball uh, mm-hmm. rim, just like all right. I'm oh, here. I've never seen that. It's on. It's on the Twitter. The, you know what? I, I I should be able to show it. On the Twitter. Yeah. Or is it? Or, or is it X now? Or is it yeah, trend? Like what is it? So that's James Harden during the practice, and then this was Ben Simmons during the practice. So he's just fucking there with the face and shit. Apparently, this was this. This is James. Harden. <laughs> <laughs> internet got jokes I'm telling you internet stay undefeated yeah but he look there like he's go. in shape how do you feel about LeBron saying Anthony Davis is the face of the Lakers I mean did they give him a like management position because I don't see him playing on the court <laughs> Is he gonna play? LeBron, LeBron, LeBron said that it's AD that's the face of the Lakers. Uh, Joseph, that's going James Simmons. <laughs> James Simmons. That's really good. <laughs> ben Harden. <laughs> that that one's good too. Ben, yo, Chris Paul, Warriors. How you feel about that? Yeah, I'm about to get a bowl of cereal. I think this might be the best chance for Paul to get a ring. You think so? Yeah, I because even if he gets another ring. Because even if he starts to burger it up, they can sit him down and Curry can take over. I don't want Curry to get another one, bro. How do you play Chris Paul? 
triple. No, but I'm saying like you're the Warriors. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're gonna you're gonna destroy his ankle. <laughs> but you'll take him out though. You're, you're yeah, the Warriors. Can't lose. You're the Warriors. How do you fit him into the lineup? How do you fit him into the script of the the Warriors? Did you do you turn Curry into a shooting guard? You have to. Yeah. Or do you do you do what the Rockets try to do with Harden and and uh, Westbrook, where they alternate? Oh, with uh, Chris Paul and Westbrook, where they fucking alternated point guards. I would. I would. I wouldn't do that per se. You know, because. But first of all, Harden and, and Westbrook never had that kind of a the jump shot that um that Curry has. But yeah. now. To me, now that just makes Curry even more lethal because now he can do all the Reggie Miller shit that he that he tried to do like during the year. Because just run them around screens. Like he was doing a lot of that last year, the last couple of years. Now you got somebody you can entrust to bring up the ball and not get you no know, cookies. You know, not that I had that shit happen. Yeah. And now, who's going to keep up with, with fucking Curry? You saying Bolt? Trip him. <laughs> <laughs> you have to trip Curry, yeah. Mm -hmm. Asshole. But yeah, that's interesting. I can't wait. I, I'm, I want to see the Bucks. Is Chris Paul on the Warriors more of an impact than Damian Lillard on the Bucks? No. Mm -mm. Nah. No, because Damon, not, Damon. you just just you he's, just gave Giannis now something he's never had. A dependable teammate. Yep. Yeah. And always available. Yeah, because he he hasn't got he Chris doesn't Paul's hurt. gonna miss games. We all yeah. know that. Right. No surprise. And as Chris Paul should. How old is he? Thirty what? Five. He's up there, right? He's up there in age 34, yeah, 35, yeah. 36, maybe. Yeah. Let's see. I, I'll double check. Google Allo. You gotta go to Google University. Yeah, I almost was gonna say 44. He's 38. Oh, look at that. So yeah, I'm all, he's gonna miss games. Uh they get it's uh, funny because Bron James is 38 too. So but LeBron James is a, is a, is a different, a different shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a different. He yeah, he works towards that. He's Chris the fifty first trade of gray. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he, Dame is a. He's a is, different beast with the same animal. They're gonna go far. Bucks had the number one team last year. They just choked in the playoffs in the first round. They lost to the eighth seed. Yeah. Giannis got hurt, and that was it. Is that more common now? Like, like I, I, I'm seeing. If it, it feels like that's more common now, these the, these players are choking. Is it is it the, the 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 bright lights are meaning so much to these people, or is it they're more concerned with the the fucking the politics of the game? Yeah, I think they're just off. That's it. I playoffs? think it was just simple as that. Yeah, like. Shit happens, but like I do, I get where you're coming from. Like it's it's rare to see the star. It's supposed to be the <clears throat> yeah, like it's rare to see a returning champion lose to eight seed it is. when they were the first seed. But that's the beauty of it, because now it becomes an upset. You know, because yeah. Mavs got upset by the by the Warriors when Barry Davis was there. What was the name of that the team? Hoj Believe team or some some sh shit like that. Sega, the Warriors with Baron Davis when they took out the Mavericks when the Mavericks were the first round. Uh, see, Baron Davis. Wow, that's old. Yeah, I mean, he was in the Warriors. What was the name of the squad? The squad they gave him like the name or it was like the Believe team or yeah, the Believe team. I think was it? Was. I believe it I was. Think it was the Believe team. And they went against the number one Mavs and fucking waxed them. So, I don't know, man. Maybe it could be choking, but shit happens, man. The We Believe team in 2006? Yeah. Yeah. We Believe team. Yeah. 
Yeah, Where no, but, but I, 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 you know what it right. is. I, 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 I believe that the reason, um, you know, I believe the reason nowadays more players choke is there's so much media coverage nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, look at it. Remember before we used to wait until ESPN top ten. To fucking be like, yo, I want to see what's the top 10. I want to see what's the top 10. Like, that was a fucking thing in the morning. Now you want to, you, all you got to do is go on your Instagram feed and, and look for the ESPN shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, tru I truly believe that, like, see, like, when you come to New York, New York has, like, 13 newspapers. So, you know. Got 13 newspapers and, and then fucking you gotta watch yourself on fucking like Instagram or Twitter or Twitter, whatever the fuck they want to be called nowadays. You know, like it's it's X, bro. Yeah. X, whatever. X don't Literally give it to you. one syllable. It's just what X. what you know, whatever. I, I you fucking can't, can't whatever that though. Yes, I can. I can no. I can whatever I can whatever, whatever the fuck I want. No, you can't. First you Amendment, can't. freedom you of can't. speech. I can say whatever the fuck I want. No, yeah, I yes. dare you to say whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> and you let me know if there's freedom of speech. All right. <laughs> you let me know how that goes. <laughs> I'm playing with that shit. <laughs> I, First Amendment protected activity, all right? In what world? <laughs> In the in United realm, States, in, which in, the, in the United yeah. States, yeah, but that's your first. Free? That's your First Amendment. So, social that's media doesn't government. have laws. Social media, it, it, it's run by their rules. You got to say what they say. You got to, you got to say what everyone else is saying on social media for them to to accept you in that way. And that's why I'm not on that crap. Yeah, see, like YouTube bans me just because. I'm not talking about women are stupid and and um because because they don't like your face. Yo, I, I'm a sexy motherfucker. Let me show you something. Let me let me show you how motherfucker. I'm a sexy motherfucker. Let me, let me reiterate this shit for y'all. There you go. <laughs> I'm a sexy motherfucker. <laughs> Through the alley, brother. But no, I mean, I hear that. <laughs> <laughs> um. I think that we, there's so much exposure nowadays. So, like, when you fuck up, like, it's everywhere. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you have one bad game, like, e even somebody who's in the third world country who, like, back in the day would take a week for them to get a newspaper can now see how much of a bum you were for one game. But do you think that kind of dilutes the insult? Because think about it. When Bill Russell lost the, the the championship after nine years of winning the championship, they broke into his home and called him a nigga. They wrote the fucking word on his like they violated his his house. Yeah, he lost. people are saying mean words on a platform where you choose to get on about you. Right, so but not, I, not for nothing. This I'm not defending what people say, no, no, but not yet. I, nowadays. Very few people have what we used to grow up as called thick skin. That's true. Pause. Every, everybody is way <laughs> too sensitive <laughs> nowadays. All right. Yeah. Everybody, uh, too many well, we people, way to, too sensitive. We have to, like, that's the reality we live in right now. Yeah, so but, we have to take know, account for that. Also, the thing was, I think people don't take it personal anymore. I think they think it's fact. Where my so I'm gonna reiterate. I'm gonna explain what I mean by that. Was if someone said, "Oh, I could shut Jordan down," Jordan took that shit personal, and when he played him, he scored oh, yeah. points on him like nigga, you can't shut me down. And I showed you where nowadays, if they say you got. You not not, not to interrupt you, but nowadays you got Russell Westbrook, uh, Westbrook trying uh, throwing out fans just because uh, they harassing me. Nah, I feel no, for that. Nah, no, that's but, different. I feel no, yeah. for that. 
But like, if the if if the I'm internet if the internet turns around and goes, this guy has no heart. This guy has this. This guy has that. They start to believe it. There is no. This is what I'm talking about with the dog in him. Like if Brady, if if they said Brady was washed up, he came out and won the Super Bowl that season. If you said Daniel Jones is washed up, he loses by fifty fucking points. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, first of all, to be washed, that means at one point you had to be good, and Daniel no, Jones but, has never been but, good. But you know what I'm saying? Like, even boxing and shit. Yeah. You can see where these people are like, yo, he doesn't have what it takes to be champion. And it's almost like they get the title shot, and then round three, they turn around to the camera and say, y'all was right. You know what I'm saying? They, they believe in this, <laughs> the, all these motherfuckers' opinions. Well, as as, a, as as my man Enzo and Cash used to say, maybe you so, you soft. <laughs> I'm reading <Huh>. the Jimmy. <laughs> oh, what, what Jimmy said? Yeah, that's pretty yeah. funny. <laughs> Yo, I got it right here, Jimmy. Don't fuck around. Shit, I got the baby oil right here, motherfucker. <laughs> Shit. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> right nah, but you know, but bucket. like I said, like I was saying, your man Enzo and Cass said it correctly. You know, you're soft. There's so many soft people nowadays. But I, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it this way. This is where everybody's a winner fucks up. Right. Everybody's because, too everybody 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 wants to get a participation trophy. Because, I'm sorry, earn, earn your trophy. Here's the thing though. You cannot Learn how to get some unless you lost it, right? You have to learn how to get rejected to fucking be accepted. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is Joseph. No, but like, <laughs> this is where I was asking about the rookie quarterbacks. You just throw them in there, and it's like sink or swim. But the minute that they start, their head goes a little down. You want them off the team. And that, I I give that same reaction because my shit is if you're gonna be out there you gotta be ready to go, but I, you can't put that expectation on a baby. And these rookie quarterbacks are babies in the league. They're going up against grown men. They're, they're kids going up against grown men. You know what I'm saying? You can't have that expectation. But this is where you would need them to learn. A lot of people said when LeBron James left the Cle left Cleveland and went to Heat, that's when he became. That's when he grew. That's when Dwayne Wade took him on and was like, yo, bro, this is your team. Start acting like this is your team. And he, you see the maturity level. He was never the same player after the Heat. He went on every single team and instantly became the leader. You had to conform to LeBron's way of playing or you could get the fuck out of here. LeBron changed the aspect of every team he was on after that. If they were losing and LeBron got on the court, they were, go they were at least down three. <laughs> he down twenty. He's like he's like um he's like what's his name from that the movie with Cameron Diaz and uh, this thing, you know your life expectancy with me without me with me without it's like the spread with me without me. <laughs> it's like you, you want to lose or you want to win. You know what I'm saying like that. I can give that to LeBron because everybody talks about the fucking he had no heart. That nigga got heart after after Miami Heat. And I don't see that from anyone else. Because I, I remember growing up saying, fuck you, to anybody that had any issue with. You know what I'm saying? It was straight out, you too, you're too short to play basketball. You're too fat to play this. You're too slow to do that. And the niggas were like, oh, yeah? Show me then. Guard me. You know, like, it was, it took, we took it personal. And we challenged you. And if you was better than us, I, right, you still ain't better than me tomorrow. Now you say that shit to a nigga, he's walking home. Mm. I ain't gonna go cry. I don't know who's on the Knicks, but you a fucking NBA basketball player. You should be doing something. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Remember that whole saying, there's only 152 of you out of the whole world that play the NBA? Y'all should have some talent. They don't just pick you up off the street and say, you know, you want to be a Nick? You know what? I mean, even though that's what it seems like they're doing. <laughs> I was about to say. But uh, you know what? To, to your point, Toe, on that is, you know, I think a lot of people don't show pride anymore. You no, know, athletes, they, 
when you challenge them back in the day, you know, you you were challenging their pride, and they're like, "Oh, you think you can guard me? I right, so I'm a I'm gonna make sure I drop fifty on you." You know, nowadays it's yeah. like, you know what? I don't think I can win if I don't team up with three other superstars to win the championship. Yeah, but but, but all right, so it it does take that because I think if Reggie Miller had a, another couple of superstars on his team, he probably would have won a championship. And if if uh, but he would never admit that. If, yeah, no, yeah. If Spike Lee was in every one of his games, he would be undefeated. <laughs> <Yeah>. Probably. <laughs> but, Probably. But, but, you know, listen, it could be the, the world is changing and and everybody everybody wants to be a hero in a world that doesn't need saving. And that, that, that's bringing a lot of weak people. So you're saying there's too many people want to be a hero and nobody wants to be a villain? I'm no, yeah, I'm thinking that there's too many people that have too much talent that they're they're resting on their fucking laurels because it, it always was when heart meets talent you're unstoppable, and all we have is talent there. I'm not saying well, much well, heart. when people say that's why your man Vince Carter failed had all the talent but didn't have the heart. Yeah, even though he is the goat, he didn't he didn't have heart. I thought I mean, he didn't have a team. That one when, when he was with, but it's it's yo dude he, that that shit was stacked. Like Iverson didn't have a team neither, but like yo, don't tell me, don't tell me Carter didn't have a team because at one point he had his cousin on the same team, and McGrady was nasty. He was. What it, what it is to your point, so I, I think too many people want to be. I would say, you know, like the uh, the fairy tale characters where they're yeah. too perfect. Yeah. Everybody wants to be too perfect. Every, like all, a, a bunch of guys want to be Prince Charming. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they're too afraid to fail, so they're not going after it. And then Ex- some of them exactly yeah and 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 some of them are too afraid to be mediocre so they're not doing the basics. Well, put it like this, um, like where I work at, I remember this one new this one new dispatcher. She tells me, she asks me something. I go, no, that's not possible, and she turns around and tells me. Well, I don't like that word. And I go, what word? She goes, no. I said, well, to get used to it because it comes out of my mouth a lot. Word. I'm like, how do you think? Oh, you don't like the word? No. Well, you're going to. That's like my man, Bernie Mac. Well, you're going to hit the word about 32 motherfucking times. Listen, if you don't like the word no, then you're going to have to do it yourself. That too. <laughs> because if you want impossible, you do it. Right. <laughs> but you know, but like I said, no. Yeah. But it, I, I think too many people are just trying to be, you know, too perfect. You know, look, I, I'm not even trying to get political on it, but like back in the days, if somebody called you an asshole or a dick or whatever, you was like, "Ah, right, my man, let's let's throw hands." Yeah. Now nowadays, somebody calls you an asshole, or a dick, and you want to pick up an AR-15 and shoot up a whole school of people who had nothing to do. With some that one guy calling you or, or bullying you or calling you a dick. Yeah. It 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 it's true. Because because the thing is, no one pushes past their fears. Like this relate going back to sports. The, the reason why I'm saying shit is because I'm seeing the pattern. You have to win a championship for you to be fearless in the playoffs. Like with with um, you can see with Chris Paul, like he's in the playoffs, he's doing these stupid mistakes, and it's like he's he's sabotaging himself. I guarantee you, he wins the championship with the Warriors. That motherfucker will probably be the best player in the fucking on the team the next time they're they're in the playoffs. Because he got that, he got over that hump. Because he got it all, he got it over with. It's kind of like when you're when you're you're a virgin and you just get a hook and just get that first nut and now you can talk to any girl you want because you got that shit out the way yeah you got your, you got you uh, busting your cherry uh, you know what i'm saying like a lot of fucking players it's until you win the championship you don't got no confidence in there 
where it was like it was almost like that was my that was my championship to win, and I'm gonna win it. Like they like I'm not here to lose. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know. I don't know if it's if it's the way people are brought up now. If it's because everybody wants to be in touch with their with their their feelings, and it's okay to be scared, but you can't let that shit determine whether you win or lose or not. If you scared, uh, leave it in the locker room and go out. Look, there I'm, and I'm a, you know, you you know, I'm not. Uh, you know, I hate Jordan. Yeah. But one thing I'll say about him: when the game was on the line, he wanted the ball in his hands. Yeah. He was willing to take that shot. What it is nowadays, there, there's not a lot of people who are willing to take that shot. They'd rather pass it off to somebody else. And then yeah. when somebody goes, Well, why didn't you take that shot? They're like, Oh, but you know, he had a he was closer to the basket. Or or what they, or, or what or whatever. It's always an excuse. They, they would rather shoot the ball from half court than shoot the ball to win the game. Right. Right. It's like, yo, I we give you a choice. You can either sh you know uh have a layup and win a game. Or you know, shoot a shot from half court, make it in, but you still lose. And you know, and unfortunately, too many people are going to choose. Oh, I'm going to shoot a shot from half court to make it look, and I'll still lose. Yeah. You know, like I remember somebody go, oh, you know, everybody nowadays they they want to win pretty, and and I'm like, I don't give a fuck if I win pretty or win ugly, as long as I fucking win. Yeah, winning ugly makes you a man. When you in a like when you in a fight and it's that dog fight and it's hard on both sides and it's an ugly win you just scrape that shit you learn some you that's where your fucking lungs are about to explode and you push past yourself winning by eighty points doesn't mean shit it just means the other team was garbage winning one of those dog fights is like fucking three overtimes and you win by that last shot that's something you pushing yourself to the limit there right. I don't. Uh, they, 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 I don't know, man. I, I, and it's sad because you have these players that are good, but they'll never be on another team. And uh, it's because of their personalities. It's because they say shit. And that's another thing. Like back in the day, you know, they didn't give a shit what you said. If you can, if you can benefit the team, benefit the team. Look at Dennis Rodman. My man was walking around with a fucking dress on. He got married to Carmen Electra in a fucking in a bridal dress. Yeah, hey, remember Carmen Electra? That was a bad bitch. Yeah, she was a bad bitch. But you know what I'm saying? Like my man during the fucking playoffs said I need a break and went to the fucking Vegas fucking hoes and, and different area codes and came back and they still was playing. They didn't get they were like, yo, bro, you gonna give me your best? We gonna win this game? Yeah, all right, let's do this. Now you sit here and you say something on social media on a fake account, and niggas want to throw you out the league. <laughs> they want to throw you out the league. Facts. And and yo and and not for nothing, the whole shit where it's like, oh, social media, everybody got a voice. You ever heard of sports talk radio? How many fucking people you know called up talking shit about these players? Come on, just because yo, fifty thousand people are not getting to LeBron on Twitter. LeBron is not seeing all of those tweets. Of course not. I'm pretty sure if he's listening to Mike and Mike in the fucking morning, someone called up, he'll hear what this guy is saying about him. You know what I'm saying? He'll probably see one or two of the bullshit, but there's a lot of people out there that, that have LeBron back and they'll talk shit about that person. So that whole social media shit, it don't mean nothing. These people want to say stupid shit on my fucking videos. And I look at it and I go, oh, that's cute. And I laugh at it and delete the fucking comment and move on with my day. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that whole, I think it's a bunch of excuses for, for a bunch of fucking unqualified therapists that these people are just hanging on to. And now all of, and now all of a sudden it's viable. And that's, that's not how the world works. That's not how the world works. You have to take responsibility for yourself. No one in the outside force can, unless they fucking physically detain you. 
you, you, no one can live your life. Me saying shit should not alter the way you live unless I pull you to the side. I'm like, yo, bro, you about to die because you drinking too much. You know, some, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, you know, but if I was like, yo, you suck at basketball, that should not make you want to fucking quit basketball. Right. No, no, I hear you. I hear you. Like I said, we're going to take it back. Too many soft people nowadays in the world. It, yeah. it, it's, it's called a spade a spade. That's, that's just what it is. And there's, bro, too much, there's too much allowance of soft. Bro. I mean, me and you, we we all we 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 all the generation. Yeah, I know, I know, you know, some, your man show and uh and uh, and also, like, you remember growing up on the block and even and even Chris, you know, growing up to the block where everybody knew each other. Yep. And, and if you knew, if if you you knew that if, you know, let's say your, your boy's mom saw you doing something, she would scold you. And almost hit you, and then by the time you got home, sh your mother already knew what the hell you did, and you was about to get scolded and, and, and your ass beat again. Yeah, I, I truly believe, like you know, th people are just scared to, to to say anything that might offend somebody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, 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 no, there's going up. You know, especially in the nineties, whatever somebody says something, and you be like, "Man, suck a dick." Now you say that, and you're like, "Oh my god, oh my god!" Like, like what? Are, are you kidding me? Yeah. That 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 offends you. That that offends you. But the fact that your kid has access basically to porn by the age of three that doesn't affect you. Because they don't give a shit what their kids are doing. Give the All phone right. to the kid and let him shut up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no. Just give him a phone. Give him a tablet. Let him sit in the chair. He'll be quiet. There's I'm going to tell you, that, that's... There's a lot of baseball going on. <laughs> Girls is like, let's get back to sports. But, you know, <laughs> yo, listen, th this is a part of sports that needs to come back. But... <laughs> I don't even know what's happening. The Yankees are out of the playoffs, so baseball is over. I have no idea what's going on. Minnesota <laughs> won the playoffs. Minnesota won the playoffs. So they're in, uh, I think, the one day playoff, the wild card. So they're in the playoffs. Yeah. yeah. The, uh, yesterday snapped the longest playoff losing streak in pro sports. Today they advanced to the postseason for the first time since 2002. That damn. The Yankees didn't even make the playoffs, so th this don't count. <laughs> that, that <laughs> this don't count. If the Yankees don't make the playoffs or they lose in the, the playoffs, the rest of the shit don't count. This is this right here is summer league for me. This is the preseason. <laughs> 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 the only the only fucking World Series rings that count are the twenty seven that are on my Yankees. No one won the World Series last year. <laughs> That's really funny. But yeah, the I haven't watched baseball in a minute. To be honest with you, I haven't baseball. I don't even think there's enough time in the day to watch baseball game. You're probably right. Because, yo, they be playing at, like, fucking 10.45 in the morning. Like, they don't know we work. You guys want to know a secret? Yeah. That Canelo fight was trash. It was. I saw it. Which I got to reinstall Windows because I got a virus from something. But yeah, I, it was, and that, that's another thing about boxing. Like yo, May, yo Mayweather. Somebody said he's one of the greatest. Right? I, was it? No, Lay sent me this video, and Mayweather was like, "Wait, wait, what you mean one of the greatest?" He's like, "Oh, because I didn't have 70, 80 fights. Didn't I fight the most champions in the least amount of time? Didn't I get the most money in the least in the least amount of time? Didn't I have the most box office in the least amount of time? Didn't I do this?" In the, 
So I'm the greatest, right? I'm, I'm like, yeah, I mean, it's true. You're still one of, one of the greatest because if if Muhammad Ali was around nowadays, I think he would have made more money than you. Probably. Uh, definitely. My man knew how to brand himself. Yeah, because Muhammad Ali was going around becoming champion. He wasn't trying to get, you know, he wasn't making business moves to make the most money. Well, that and there was only like maybe two or three belts at that time. Now you got like seventeen belts for each each weight class. Yeah, that, that's true. There was a linear and then the heavyweight championship. Bro, I was I was getting a cut that day watching the prelims, and there was a, a heavyweight fight a fight for a vacant belt on the prelim. Like how, like how far have you fallen? Word. The, uh, the uh, vacant belt is being. The like, uh, 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 title for a vacant belt is being fought on the prelim. Yeah, that's crazy. Like the only people that were there were the media and maybe like one or two people who are like friends of the group. Uh, I mean, of the uh, of the the of the performer or something like that. But that's crazy to me. Yeah, I mean, yo. Joseph talking about the UFC and this shit, but I think boxing it changed also. I have the best cereal in the fucking world. Sorry. <laughs> Got here. I'm back. Boxing changed also. Everything. I want these guys to make their money. All right. But I also want fights. Fight for and your money. Didn't the dude that Carnello fought have to go up two weight classes to fight him? Maybe. I don't know, but he was fighting like a fucking bitch. Yeah. He was scared. He was a fucking punk. He was a punk bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I would have gave Canelo a better fight, bro. She would have ended second round. But I'd know. rather that. You know? <laughs> Not rather that. Yo, listen, man. I've always said if I was a fighter and I'm losing, kick me out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, ha I'm gonna bolster the wall. I'm either gonna knock you out, or you gonna knock me out. Cause now there's, there's no pride in making it twelve rounds. You whip my ass for twelve rounds. I just showed the world that I'm gonna get my ass whipped for twelve rounds. Nah, nah. I fight Canelo. She's gonna end in, in two rounds. Like yo, when Tyson fought, be the biggest um, upset in the world. Yeah, right. When Tyson fought Lennox Lewis. And he right. got his shit rocked for fucking 14 rounds. I was like, yo, bro, you're gonna have to end this dude. Like, put him <laughs> down. This ain't, this, yeah. It shows, it, people say it shows the heart of Tyson, but I think Tyson wanted to get punished. You know what I'm saying? Like, you see people out there taking that punishment and just standing there. <laughs> I, I, there's, there's certain times where it's like, yo, bro, someone throw in this fucking towel. He's getting his ass kicked. He's not fighting back. You know, and where's the cornerman? At least with, with um Carl Usman and um and uh Edwards. The cornerman was like, yo, bro, you losing. You wanna fucking fight or what? And then my man threw that desperation kick and knocked out <laughs> fucking Carl Usman. At least he tried. At least he tried. I would rather lose trying than lose losing. It's like it's like baseball. Go out swinging. No, because if you sit there looking at the ball, it's like, what was you doing? You should have just walked off the mound, walked off the fucking batter's box. That used to get me tight. And I'm not a baseball guy, but like people that get struck out just looking. Yeah. When there's like the game on the line, there's like fucking what's the count? What two and three? Your full count. Full count. Whatever the fuck. Nah. And niggas just go out not swinging, <laughs> and you go home after that. Yep. <laughs> at the playoffs, I've seen that. Making a hundred and fucking forty million dollars a year. Ooh, like just stop. swing. They like fucking swing at anything, right? That's why I'm not good at baseball, bro. I swing at everything. I'll chase that shit. So you got no hand and eye coordination? Yeah, that's why I want to hit everything. But I'll be missing. 
He, he has hand-eye coordination. Problem is he's not looking at the ball. <laughs> if he looked, if he learned how to look at the ball while he was swinging, pretty sure he made some contact. Yeah. Yo, it, look at the ball. Yo, so Joseph said something about the UFC. So I looked up the fucking the, the events calendar for the UFC. November 11th, John Jones is, say, is fighting Stipe Miocic, and it's weird as fuck to see John Jones with the belt. And Stipe Miocic is a challenger for the heavyweight title. Like, my man was out for seven years. He, like, literally walked in the octagon. They handed him the title because he didn't fight Khan. Khan just went in there, tapped on the ground. They gave Jones the title. They <laughs> mailed him the fucking belt. And now he's the champion for another two years, and now he's fighting Stipe Miocic. Like, bro, I, I want John Jones's fucking schedule. He's like that person that shows up to work for half a day bro. and is on vacation contract. every month. His contract is crazy. Word. He don't have a contract, right? <laughs> nah, he gotta, he gotta... When I wake up, there better be money in my account. Track. I don't know. Yo, he, he's probably like, you want me to hit another pregnant woman? Give me a million dollars tonight. Say I won't. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. He said, oh, you're not going to give me $20 million fight Cormier? I'm going to pop. Fuck it. I'm going to ruin your whole card, nigga. No. Yep. <laughs> and he did. Oh, bitch. He literally, he's the only man in history that made a card move to another date because he didn't want to fight Chael Sonnen. I don't know the relationship. I think John, Jones is uh, blackmailing him. <laughs> I was waiting for something. Yeah, right. But I mean, listen, the, the UFC is turning into wrestling. I don't even think this shit is like the, the undercard fights are legitimate because they're they're unranked people, and then whoever's making the most noise is getting title shots. Yeah, you have to have a, a media a following. Kobe Covington hasn't won any of his last twenty seven fights, and he's a fucking number one contender right now for Leon Edwards. Yeah, yeah. Dina White privilege. The last fight that Kobe Covington had was against Masvidal in March 5th of 2022. He won though, right? He beat him by unanimous decision. Right? He lost to Kamal Usman the fight before that. In 2021. And then in 2020, he beat Tyrone Woodley. But I think Tyrone Woodley broke his rib during that fight. So my man fights once a year and has taken off almost two years to fight fucking for the title. That makes sense to you? No. It sounds division. like there's a lot of coke involved. Yeah, it's a welterweight division. This is on the, both parties. Yeah, you know, like, this isn't a division that is light on contenders. And he just gets handed a title shot. Kobe, Strickland, and Sugar Shane, yeah. All three of them. The White Kings. <laughs> That's a Joseph. Yeah. Yeah. But we all know that. Super Bowl picks. Yeah. Way too early. That yet? Way too early? Yeah. Well, no. Wait, who's going to play the Chiefs in the Super Bowl is what Chris was saying. Because <laughs> the, the, the refs already made it clear. 49ers? That's a good one. Yeah. It might be a rematch. I doubt it. We'll see, we got to see what the second half of the season look like. Let me see from the NFC, though. So, Joe told me he was going to be home by 1025. <laughs> we about to sign off. 
Because I can hear it in I can hear it in Hoach's voice and I can hear it in Crew's voice. We ain't got much left to talk about. Unless y'all want to hear me rant about some other shit that got nothing to do with sports. <laughs> <laughs> I mean the way I the way me and your season is going football, we can rant all day about it. Yeah, this is true. But yeah. I mean, but yeah, but no, but going back on the point that we were making before with boxing, it's like they, they, right now there's just way too many belts. Yeah, the Carnello had five. The dude he was fighting had five, and then they was and they were fighting for another, one. Yeah. So I don't know. If it was it one that the, the dude that was that he the Canelo was fighting was it one of his belts was one of Canelo's uh, belts? Like they don't even tell you this in the press. So you're like, yo, what the fuck is going on here? Yeah, that that is true. We don't remember back in the day. It was if you had a fight, you put up all your belts. You the middleweight champion of the world defending your heavyweight championship at 125 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> God they damn! Figured, they figured the shit out. <laughs> like, you you want to fight? Defend all your titles. That's wild. <laughs> you you got to do what you got to do. Out here. The streets is the streets is calling. <laughs> My man said we hungry, cuz. <laughs> word word. But yeah, I mean, all right. So I guess we'll do that, and then we'll just call it a night, right? It's 11 11. Make your Super Bowl picks now. <laughs> I don't want my team to go to the Super Bowl. Now I'm playing like this Eagles and Queefs rematch. No, man. I'll say Bills. Bills and Niners. You know what? I'm saying the Jets versus the Eagles. I mean, if y'all win this next game, <laughs> y'all be two and three. Y'all be <laughs> tied for third. Yeah. <laughs> a- AFC, AFC is a little loose. <laughs> They'll be on, a little loose. NFC is wide open. NFC? Yeah, you got the 49ers and the Eagles. After that, all positions available. Yeah, the, the the Bucks, the Lions, the Seahawks, the Cowboys are tied for third. The Falcons, the Rams, the Commanders, and the Packers are tied for and the and the Saints are tied for fourth. And then the Vikings, the Giants, the Cardinals are fifth. And then the Bears and the Panthers don't have any wins <laughs> in the last. Look at the AFC. Yeah, well, the AFC you got um, the Chiefs. The Ravens and the Bills are in first. The Colts are in second. The Dolphins are in fourth. No, wait. AMC ain't tough either, man. You got the Steelers, the Browns, the Jaguars, and the Chargers, and the Texans, and the Titans together. And then the Patriots, the Jets, the Raiders, the Bengals, and the Broncos are... They do have better teams on the AFC, though. Not by much. Well, let's see. Once Joe Burrow gets it together, the... They have the Bengals. They have the Bengals. Justin Herbert. The Dolphins right now, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> Chiefs. Bills. I want. We, we want the Ravens in there. I want to ask you a question. Because I'm looking at the stats, the standings, and they're saying that the Dolphins are ranked fifth, but they're three and one. The Chiefs, the Ravens, the Bills are three and one, and they're one, two, and three. Look Number the four, the, yeah, the Colts are two and two. How are they from fourth place? <laughs> I don't know. I just witnessed that. <laughs> how, how, Sway? Like, it, is it's, this it's how math. they do it also? The <laughs> math rigged. ain't mathing up because. What, the you're script. Telling, you're telling me that the Jets could have went undefeated and we still would have been in eighth place? Because of some number? <laughs> <laughs> On both percentage or some shit? Like, it makes it sense. I don't know. It has to be an error, right? It, it, it has to be. Because the games won and the games lost are better than the Colts. 
Yeah, yeah, that's, it. <laughs> that's the only way I, I thought that's how the I thought how the standings went. I want to take a picture of this. Take a picture of this. I thought that's how the standings went. Just take this to Twitter and tag tag the podcast. No, nah, but seriously, uh, you know what? I, I'll say 49ers. Because of the power rankings? This shit goes by power rankings, though. <laughs> power rankings? Make that make sense, though. <laughs> Joseph, you're a clown. You about to put that shit on Twitter right now on 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 X. So it doesn't matter what you said. You're not here. He said it doesn't matter. At NFL, <laughs> how are the Dolphins in this place behind the coach? Hashtag Knucklehead Sports. <laughs> Yo, Hoach, you got you got a Tweety box? What if I got what X Twitter with Twitter, whatever the fuck it wants to be yeah. called? Nah, I don't. Yo, Cruz, what's your what's your Twitter? Living single, lightly seasoned, visual therapy. <laughs> <laughs> Cruise. I think it's cruise. All right, man. I, I might I might need to get it. No, wait, you, you gotta pay for X. Nah, forget it. Scratch that. Is it cruise? I don't see. They, they he wants to make it where you have to pay for it. That shit. Oh, the day that happens, the day I'm out of and that's why a lot of people went, is has been moving over to threads. Hey, threads ain't no fucking better. Yo, I, how come I can't tag you in this, Cruz? It's a fucking mess. <laughs> Put my cigar. Is it KR, KRY11? Yeah. I can't find you. I'm coming for you. You can't see him? Hey, knock that shit off. Hello, <laughs> hello, hello. I got you. Fuck. Did you block me? <laughs> we got friends on here. Visual therapy. That's it. That's, That's what, what I gave I you. Yeah, I followed you right now. Who? Tell me who followed you. Rose. Yeah, I followed you back. There you you made a new one? Yeah. Is it new? It, it says is. you joined in 2020. Yeah. Does the Capitals work? Oh, here you go. Joseph, you think the Colts are going to play J uh, JT?
There you go. I, I tagged you in on it. Joseph said that's, that's one, one of his. <laughs> Why well, I gotta create a channel to join the chat? What the fudge? Why you gotta what? I gotta make a channel to write in the chat. What chat? In the restream chat or? Yeah. That's crazy. None of the restream. YouTube. Oh. All right. So while you guys do that, I guess we're done for the night. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Six to say. Well, gentlemen, I'll see you here next time. So the same bat channel, same bat time. That's right. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, it is your friendly neighborhood knucklehead signing out. Peace, everybody. Peace. Y'all have a good night. Yep. Be safe. Stop, stop cheating on the Jets,